We take for granted that suitcases are so well designed nowadays. It wasn't long ago that we were lugging suitcases with a leash across airport terminals. However, there is one debate when it comes to luggage that continues to confuse travelers shopping for a bag. And that's deciding between two wheels and four wheels. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ernest from Tipastute. In this video, we explore the benefits and drawbacks of both types of suitcases and discuss which might be a better fit for you. We'll also share how you can win a set of compression cubes to help you pack your bag more efficiently. To be honest, I've always been a two-wheel luggage kind of guy. It's only recently that we've added a few four-wheel suitcases to our travel gear. Specifically, we recently received an away suitcase as a wedding gift from Sebastian and Mandy over at Asebi. They were so generous to send us this suitcase as a present and we were completely floored by the gesture. As a result, I've traveled a few times with the away suitcase and I'm planning to do a full review on it soon. However, I thought I'd focus this video on the debate between four wheel and two wheel suitcases. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. Tripasu is a travel channel that is focused on sharing ways to make travel easier, affordable, and more enjoyable. Traveling can be stressful and expensive, so we're looking for ways to help you maximize your experience through travel tips, points of miles, and innovative gear. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. For those of you that haven't shopped for a suitcase recently, there are basically two options and styles. You have the traditional two-wheel design that is meant to be dragged behind you, and the more modern four-wheel design that you push along. There are definitely pros and cons to both approaches, so I thought I'd list out the differences. Starting with traditional two-wheel suitcases, there are several benefits. One is that the wheels take up less space in the suitcase. Since the wheels tend to be integrated into the suitcase, they tend to take up less capacity. For example, a 22 inch long two wheel suitcase will usually have more space in a four wheel version since the wheels take up less space and do not stick out. Another benefit is that the wheels tend to be more durable. Since two wheel suitcases tend to have wheels that do not pivot or spin, they tend to be more robust and durable. And lastly, they tend to be less expensive. Two wheel suitcases are usually less costly than four wheel models. In terms of drawbacks, most two wheel suitcases suffer from the following issues. One is that it's difficult to move multiple suitcases. This is a big one. It can be difficult to move multiple two-wheel suitcases at once. You can use straps to connect multiple two-wheel suitcases. However, it's just more easy to push along multiple four-wheel suitcases. Another is that you can't move sideways through an aisle. This can be a challenge for some travelers. Most two-wheel suitcases cannot be rolled down the airplane aisle, or at least without taking out some passenger's arms. Another drawback is that they're more prone to falling over. My two-wheel suitcase tends to fall over when I stuff anything in the front pocket. It seems to be much more sensitive to the distribution and balance of weight. Lastly, there is wrist and arm strain. Pulling a suitcase behind you can be straining on your arm and wrist, especially if you're dragging it over long distances. Now, if we look at four-wheel suitcases, here are the benefits. One is that they're easier to move around. Since you're pushing the suitcase, it's generally easier to move than pulling a bag behind you. Another is that they're more stable. Four-wheel suitcases tend to have fewer issues with tipping over. Another benefit is that they can be pivoted and pushed. Since the suitcase can be pivoted sideways, it makes it easy to roll down the airplane aisle until you're ready to place it in the overhead bin. For cons, four-wheel suitcases have the following problems. One is that they roll away on uneven surfaces. This tends to happen in the worst times too. If your bag is on an uneven surface, it can roll away from you. Another drawback are vulnerable wheels. Since the wheels are more complex in their assembly, they tend to be less durable when it comes to moving on uneven or bumpy surfaces. Also, since the wheels on a four wheel bag tend to stick out at the end, they are more likely to be damaged when checking in your bag. Also, you have less usable space. As I mentioned earlier, the wheels can take up room since they stick out at the bottom, so you often lose a little bit of space in the suitcase. I decided to rate the two styles on a variety of factors. If we look at the summary sheet, you'll see that for movement, four wheels are usually better than two wheels. I say usually since four wheels allow you greater mobility on smooth surfaces, but it can be difficult when moving over rough terrain or uneven terrain. Two wheel bags, on the other hand, tend to be better suited for a wide range of surfaces but lack the pivoting and maneuverability of a four-wheel suitcase. Some of you might be wondering which is faster to move around with at the airport. I think that pulling a bag is faster than pushing one. However, after using the away bag and seeing how it can swivel, it allowed me to walk between and past people that would have not been possible with my two-wheel bag. So I think it's pretty even. You might have more speed with a two-wheel suitcase, 
but you get more maneuverability with a four-wheel suitcase. For space, two-wheel suitcases tend to have more room since the wheels are usually integrated into the body of the suitcase. The wheels on a four-wheel suitcase also tend to stick out, which means that it counts against the length of the suitcase. For stability, I think that four wheels is better than two. My two-wheel suitcases have a tendency to fall over, especially if I've loaded the front pockets. For durability, I have to give it to two-wheel suitcases. Since the wheels on a two-wheel suitcases do not pivot, they tend to be more durable and steady. Also, since they are often less exposed than four-wheel suitcases, they are less likely to get damaged when checking in your bag. For price, two-wheel suitcases tend to be cheaper too. However, four-wheel suitcases are more popular right now, so you're seeing less and less of a price difference between the two styles. Finally, for versatility, I think that four-wheel suitcases offer a lot more versatility. One thing to keep in mind is that you can always treat a four-wheel suitcase like a two-wheel suitcase in case you need to drag it behind you. So it's a tie. But if I was advising someone who was looking to buy a suitcase, I would recommend four wheels for a carry-on size suitcase and two wheels for a larger check-in bag. While you might sacrifice some space with a four-wheel bag, I think you can often capture more space by using devices like packing and compression cubes. For example, I've used these compression cubes from Tripped that are essentially packing cubes with additional zippers to compress the garments. They are a great way to pack more efficiently. Also, here are a few things to keep in mind when considering which luggage to get. Number one, look for durable wheels and handles. When picking a suitcase, there are many brands to choose from. I tend to steer away from designer brands and lean more toward travel brands. However, that being said, I recommend inspecting the wheels, handles, and zippers closely when purchasing any suitcase. These are the areas that tend to break, so it's worth getting suitcases that have large and durable wheels, sturdy and smooth retractable handles, and quality zippers. Number two, determine the case material. You'll often need to pick between hard or soft case suitcases. I don't think there's much of a difference between the two in terms of protecting the items inside. In theory, a hard shell should be more protective, but the reality is that a soft shell can absorb more of an impact. Also, a hard shell will likely show more wear with scuff marks. Though when it comes to inclement weather, a hard shell definitely has the advantage since it won't soak up water. Number three, check discount stores. While I love the Away suitcase and would recommend it to anyone looking to buy a high quality bag, it may not make sense if you only travel once or twice per year. If you're looking for a quality suitcase but at a lower price, consider discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Nordstrom Rack. These stores tend to sell different brands from designer to more established travel brands at much lower prices. I bought my two-wheel Travel Pro suitcase at one many years ago and it continues to serve me well. I think it was 40% off retail price when I bought it, which was a great deal. Number four, consider using a backpack for adventure trips. Despite two-wheel suitcases being better suited for uneven or rough surfaces, they are a pain to drag across gravel or unpaved surfaces. If you know you'll be doing an adventure trip or even a trip where you'll be moving a suitcase over cobblestone roads, I would consider using a backpack instead. We did a review a while back on my favorite large travel backpack, which is the Osprey Farpoint. I used that backpack to travel through Southeast Asia and Central America, and it worked extremely well. And finally, Tripped is offering to give away five sets of their compression cubes to our audience. You might be saying, I already use packing cubes, why would I need to use compression cubes? It all comes down to space. While a normal packing cube offers some elasticity, a compression cube is a lot more aggressive when it comes to saving space. For example, I recently had a business trip to Oakland where I needed to pack a coat. Rolling up my coat still resulted in a fairly bulky item in my suitcase. However, after putting it in a compression cube, you can see that the size is significantly smaller. Think of them as the next evolution of packing cubes. And with baggage fees and the hassles of dealing with checked-in luggage, any savings in space is always welcomed. Since the airlines have become a lot more strict when it comes to carrying on luggage, it's becoming even more important to try to find ways to reduce any bulk space. To enter, all you need to do is fill out the form on our website. You don't have to purchase anything, but there are multiple ways to enter and gain entries. By signing up for some of our social media channels, you'll earn extra entries into the contest. The more options you complete, the more entries you'll earn, and of course, there's no pressure to enter. We'll randomly select five winners on December 7th. Keep in mind that the contest is only for US residents. I wanna say a big thank you again to Tripped for generously providing five sets of compression cubes for our audience. I've been impressed with the quality and value in their products. I can definitely recommend them for travelers. And I appreciate them wanting to support our channel and connect with our audience. What are your thoughts on two wheel versus four wheel suitcases? Do you have a type or brand that you swear by? Let me know in the comment section below. 
We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and consider sharing the video with others. As always, we appreciate you checking out our channel and video. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.